Right, so we have a, uh, well, sort of rolling chassis. Obviously, we haven't got the steering in it yet. That hasn't arrived. But, uh, yeah, I've got the, uh, just the old school shocks on for now. I'll rebuild my TLR ones for it and um and then we'll get those uh, fitted up uh, as soon as we can so still that's yeah, about as far as i can go today really um still waiting on the parts so still waiting for the uh, alloy prop shaft um the, the steering and the motor mount and then uh, we can obviously crack on a bit but i'll get the uh, lossy shocks rebuilt and get those mounted up but just wanted to get it on its wheels i've used um yokomo yz4 front wheels and some kyosho rears and they've got uh, good engagement on the lock nut which is fine so we'll uh, probably stick with those i've got quite a few sets of those but uh, got the wing mount on as you can see um probably cut out a new wing and get that sorted oh yeah we also need the front hubs to uh, arrive as these are broken as you can see but uh it's uh, making progress, which is good. So uh, we'll report back when the postman arrives. Right, so we had a few uh, bits turn up in the post today. So thanks to uh, John Painter for sending me the steering arms, which was brilliant. Thank you very much, mate. And then also had uh, this prop shaft arrive, so we'll get these uh, fitted up. Uh, still waiting on the front hubs. Um, and then we're going to replace the internal gears here with the ones from the Rally uh, TAO2 because they're all plastic rather than the alloy, which apparently wear quickly. So we'll uh, get those swapped out. I've just ordered a set of those as well. So we'll get the uh, the steering rack in and then the links and then obviously hook them up to the hubs when we've done that. And then I'm also uh, in the process of uh, getting my TLR um, 22 shocks rebuilt, which are here. So, uh, yeah, we'll give those a, a clean up and rebuild and then get them on the car as well. So the uh, prop shaft's all in, as you can see. Uh, steering rack's in, so that's all sorted. Um, and I've just rebuilt the... Uh, TLR 22 shock so we'll uh, get these uh, on the car somehow so we'll have to come up with a, a way to mount them up here um, obviously just an M3 through the bottom on the wishbone should be pretty easy so we'll uh, get those on the car next so the uh, TLR shocks are on I uh, found some Kyosho springs knocking about but they feel pretty good on the bench I don't know what colour they are or spring rating but they uh, they feel okay like I say um, so put uh, 600 weight in the front shocks uh two by 1.5 pistons so i might draw them out to 1.6 and in the rear got 1.7 two old pistons with 550 center stoke oil um so yeah and i found some uh exotec wing buttons off my 511 as i swapped them out so there you go it's all looking pretty good um looks loads better with these proper shocks on it and obviously we'll go a, a lot better so you yeah, just gotta wait for the hubs to come uh and then it'll and a motor mount uh, and then um, we can start putting some radio gear in i also need to think about a body for it so i don't know whether i'll go for a rw star body or a manta ray shell or possibly a mad cat which jamie booth ran back in the day on his manta ray so not sure yet i'll have a little research online and see what looks cool but uh, watch this space and then hopefully um, we can get it sent to a painter and get it in my colors as you can see up here on my wheel speeds so uh, yeah we'll uh, hopefully get something looking snazzy on this but uh, it's making good progress and looking pretty good so far so the uh, new uprights have just arrived so uh, these are obviously re-release ones so it should be nice and strong as obviously these old i don't know 20 year old bits of plastic have, uh, have cracked and, and you can see broken off there but it's obviously part of a uh, you know uh restoring these old cars so anyway we'll get these um bolted onto the car um just about to order some uh three racing dto2 front cvds from rc mark that's the only people i can find that have got stock at the moment so um, we'll get those on the front and, and maybe grab a set for the rear as well um and yeah we're making progress so it's looking pretty good um so hopefully we'll get some electrics in it soon and and keep pushing on but uh yeah it's uh Looking quite nice, getting quite excited to get driving this again. Been uh, probably 20 odd years since I uh, raced uh, Manta Ray, so it uh, should be good fun. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next update uh, when some more bits arrive. Right, we have steering again, which is good. So that's what the wheel's flapping about. Um, so I'm going to dig out a servo next and chuck that in there. Um, what else can I do in the meantime? It's still waiting for the alloy motor mount to rock up. I'll probably cut a new wing out one of the uh, rude bits or wheel speed wings that I've got. Um, so we'll get one of those on there, look a bit racier than the standard Tamiya one. Um, and that's about all we can do for now, really. So yeah, once uh, the motor mount turns up, we can get the uh, motor in in ESC 
Um, but we're not too far away. And I need to organise a body show, so looking at a few different ideas on that. Um, so, uh, yeah, I haven't bought one yet, but we'll uh, get one on order shortly when I've decided, really. So that's it for now. I'll catch you in part three.